Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here at the Dubai Air Show, where our coverage is sponsored by FLIR. And we're over here in the uh, U.S. Uh, military corral where we're talking to uh, Colonel Thomas Golter, uh, Jr., who is the uh, A-5 at the United States Air Force's Central Command uh, at Sunny uh, Shaw Air Force Base. Sir, thanks very much for taking some time with us. Well, we appreciate you having us here, and I uh, hope you're enjoying the air show. Uh, it's absolutely uh, spectacular. Seeing the Raptor fly is, uh, is always something impressive, especially when the Russians have, have hauled out there. Uh, aircraft, uh, albeit not uh, <laughs> the stealthy uh, super fighter that this is. Um, I wanted to talk to you. Your job is, is theater uh, security cooperation. Talk to us about why air shows like this are so important, and particularly this air show from, from a, um, an AFSENT perspective. Well, participation in air shows uh, just kind of shows or demonstrates the United States Air Force commitment to the security in the region. And so the Dubai Air Show particularly shows the, or demonstrates our ability for um, or promotes interoperability, I should say. There are a lot of, a lot of similar aircraft. I mean, our, our partners here in this region fly a similar aircraft, and then for us to show that we're committed to them and that they're committed to us, and also shows the flexible combat capabilities of the United States military. Uh, that's right, because you didn't have to flatbed any of these things here. They can get here on their own. But but still, you know, it's 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 helped a little bit. USS America's in the neighborhood, so you can get a V-22 and a 53 and, a, and an H-60 uh, on a rotary wing sort of basis. But you've got jets that are coming from a lot of other places. They're being drawn off of operational uh, status in, in, in some respects. What are some of the challenges of bringing all these moving pieces together, as well as so many airmen, sailors, and Marines in order to be able to support the jets while they're here? Well, as you know, Coming to an event like this, it, I mean, it takes a lot of planning. So we'll start about a year out. We have an initial planning conference. We'll actually meet with the UAE coordinators, and then they'll give us a list of what aircraft they would like to see at the air show. Of course, uh, we'll come back at a mid-planning conference, and we'll kind of give them an idea of what we think is available uh, due to commitments around the world, specifically those that are in operations. And then there will be a final planning conference, which we'll nail down to the best of our ability which aircraft will be here. Um, we're lucky that the USS America just happens to be, you know, in the AOR, and it happens to be docking for Liberty and, and, and mid-tour ship replacement, so we're able to take some of those air assets off of there and, you know, bring them here. We're also lucky that uh, with Aldoffer Air Base nearby, we're able to pull an, an F-22 and an E-3 out, uh, even though they were just in combat just, uh, you know, a few days ago, just to show uh, and display, you know, the awesome capability of, and air dominance that the Air Force, uh, you know, has here. Um, let me ask you about challenges. Each one of these things is a, is, a, is a challenging evolution. Every country, even the closest ally sometimes, has its own peculiar rules and regs in terms of, of how to do things. What are some of the challenges you guys have faced and overcome in being able to do this on a regular basis? Well, again, um, luckily we do have a, a planning cell, especially back at AFSA A5, that, that handles air shows like the Dubai Air Show or the Bahrain Air Show on a regular basis. So we're able to do the lessons learned from there. But challenges are always uh, overflight, you know, or specifically which aircraft do we think we could commit depending upon what operation that they're involved in at this time. Uh, because, for example, everybody wants to see an F-22 there, and a year out it's very hard for you to say you'll have an F-22 out. Uh, correct, and especially this year, it's the 70th uh, you know, birthday of the United States Air Force, and so our F-22 demo was already committed to another air show back in the United States. Uh, the UAE really wanted that F-22 demo, so this was a compromise by be being able to bring an F-22 as a static, first time ever here at the Dubai Air Show. And thanks for that, you know, clarification that you guys are doing static, but that uh, you guys had a, had a flyby. You know, we've been inside doing interviews the whole time, so I haven't even seen any of the flying demonstration, although I hear there's a Russian airplane that flies around too. Um, one last thing, you know, what's it like for you guys to kind of come off of operational cycle to a place like Dubai for a couple of days? You know, everybody's working hard, but Everybody's also like sort of experiencing a really, really cool city. What's that like for, for, for the airmen who are working for you? Well, for the most part, some of the folks that are here, this is probably the first uh, country that they've been to. And then most of them are, you know, at a base, kind of like tied down, you know, doing the mission. So being able to come out here and bring that mission to Dubai, specifically in the city, they're able to see the culture a little bit different through a different lens. And it just opens up uh, different opportunities uh, for them in the future. And how valuable are these air, sh air shows for you in particular, given you have a broader mission? Your job isn't just to organize air shows. Your job is to do some of this cooperation. What are you achieving here when you spend, spend a week uh, meeting with so many international delegations? Uh, as the director of theater Secur security cooperation, this uh, air show is definitely important. It, like I said at the beginning, it demonstrates uh, to the region uh, the U.S.'s commitment to the security. 
but it also opens up many doors for to build that trust and that bond for lasting partnership and relationships that's needed um, uh, in order to secure this region. And specifically here in the UAE, in the United States, they have a lasting long relationship, especially with the F-16. And uh, they've been a um, wonderful host and, and it just makes it uh, fantastic for us to be able to come here uh, and show off our, our flexible combat capability. And if they get the F-35, that'll be another airplane. All right, we gotta go. Don't know about that, sir, but that's <laughs> not for me to answer. <laughs> Colonel Golter, thanks very much, sir. Appreciate it. All right, thank you very much, sir.